fight coming up next at the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Monterey, Mexico, Mr. Untouchable. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he told you off the top he has a reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Left hook coming, it's blocked. 
look at the whip action that comes from throwing that kick. And so now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, effective strike there by Lord. And he landed the right hand there. Caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinic. Single collar tie now. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Missed with that attempt. Combination lands for to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice job to land and knee to the body. Damn, I wish I was out time. Oh, now he's in trouble. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under a minute to go. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the you fight. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he's got his back now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. And now he lands a combination. Boom! Big 
jab. Throwing hard in the pocket. Knee to the body. Attacking the body now. That shot blocked. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. He engages in a single power tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuff to take down, no problems. And they separate. Left hand punch in the clinch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Another straight left. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here. It's starting to find himself in the pocket. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his beautiful right. Oh. He flipped over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Back to the feet now. Connects with a right. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, he eats a knee. And they set Oh, nice combination. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. How good is that right hand? Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily. Stuff. Oh, man, look at that. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Final seconds here of round number two. Arch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands 
on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Third round underway. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, straight right. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, nice right hand counter. Again, they will clinch. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All collar ties. There's the kick, it's blocked. Good stick. Chalky in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. on that spinning attack. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big head kick land. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee land. Beautiful strike. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Nice body kick. Plus right hand is true. Oh man, hey, he lands. Ooh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, no surprise, the fighter with a longer reach is able to land that patented jab yet again. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Effective strike there by Lee. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Still nice body kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Oh! Relax, relax. Keep your hands up there. Leg kick. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a way to look at him attacking that guillotine. to the guillotine there, gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Well, Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Right side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, you know, I don't like the knee very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Ground and pound strike is true. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. 
This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Oh, nice counter right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ooh, nice straight left. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad hit. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Nice. Yeah. Sneaky head kick. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Counter punch is good by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh! Head kick! Big knee to the body! Beautiful knee! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big knee. Now a knee. Lands a nice one, too. Showed it there and landing that straight punch. Punch over the top. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to cut the wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Oh! Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choker. I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Get out of there. Somehow stays in the fight. No guys work. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build. He's working on a guillotine. submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble 
the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Mr. Octoball. Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the